Some obnoxious customs and tradition in most African countries put widows and orphans at a very sympathetic condition, from confiscation of a diseased property by relatives to compelling of a widow to shave her hair. The list is endless. Blessing Okoro is a widow with two children. An indigenous of Abia State, she lost her husband about 20 years ago. Adewumi Ableto's experience as a widow is not different. She lost her husband in 2002. Their plight attracted the attention of a foundation interested in alleviating the sufferings of widows and orphans. We've been supporting. They've been you know, assisting in terms of school fees, in terms of you know, giving out business, contracts. They are paying the school fees for my children. They pay house rent. Even now, my house is burnt down. They are the people who come pay the house rent. About 1,000 widows and their children are already being catered for by the rules of Sharon's foundation. In the meantime, a book titled The Cry of Widows and Orphans is being put together to further impact on the lives of widows and orphans in Nigeria and Africa through advocacy and appropriate legislation. We want to use the book to, open, to knock on doors, to wake people up from their slumber. The cry of widows and orphans will enlighten widows on their rights, draw the attention of the world to their plights, and sensitize all stakeholders on their expected rules towards alleviating their sufferings.